Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, I'm your Average Gamer and we are back again today with episode 4 of my SnowRunner Season 9 Adventures and uh, following on from, uh, from the very end of episode 3 when uh, I attempted to with the uh, my little Jeep Renegade but failed miserably but then I brought over this Zix I've been saying Zizk but it's actually Z Zix, it's easy for me to say um, and I flipped this uh, this Derry Special over back onto its wheels and it's been refueled and it's been repaired and now I've just got to deliver it back to a spot which is in the garage complex on this map so without further ado I think we should get cracking I've got obviously my um, oh, what is it called sorry the ANK Civilian is still sitting there with its fuel tank on board, still got plenty of fuel in there, so I shall be refueling uh, both of these vehicles on the way back. But uh, yeah, so shall we get going? I think we shall. Right, first things first, let's have a quick look at the map. So I think it's a fairly simple journey. Yeah, it's a journey that I've done before. So I've just got to go up there, and I've got to turn right at that junction there. I shall put a marker there just for my own satisfaction. Um, chuck a right there and then down here there's the ANK and then it's just basically a straight shot down that road along across a couple of river crossings up to what is technically the main road and then just along to the garage that spot where it looks like I've got to deliver this truck I'll probably end up just instead of trying to turn in there and go around the front I'll just go around the back but we'll worry about that when we get there, got a little bit of driving to do first before I get there. So, let's start her up. Um, I think we'll have some lights on, it's a little bit gloomy. Attach the winch from there to there. Turn on engine on winch truck. Yes, I think we will. And let's get going. As I say, this 6 was absolutely brilliant. It shrugged off all of the terrain on the way over here. So I have complete and utter and total confidence in its ability to... Uh, To get to get back as long as I know where I'm going actually sorry let me just put that marker there there we go Got lost already so let's just scoot through the middle here oh boy Well, that's a, that wasn't a glorious start to the uh, to the journey. Deary, deary me! There was me boasting about how good this truck is and that, but failed to take into account one small factor I'm the person who was driving it deary deary me anyway we're underway now so this <laughs> I'll say it again so this shouldn't be too uh, too demanding a journey on the way back. Still got plenty of petrol left. 
as I say, I will be topping up with fuel on both vehicles, so that's not a problem. Ah, so it's right here, isn't it? Because I remember it was just before those lily pads. Come on, truck, let's go. Right. But then, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, once I've got this truck back, well, the first thing that I'll be doing is because when I complete this mission I get to keep this truck I will be uh, popping it in the garage and then we'll do a little bit of modifying and see uh, see what we can do to it because obviously there's um, it's got uh, exclusive water tank add-ons on it as far as I uh, as far as I know so uh, Looking forward to seeing those. Come on, truck. Come on. You can do it. Just got to get that. There we are. But then, once I've... Uh, once we've had a little look at this truck in the garage, the question then is, what to do next? Now, for anyone who's seen any of my earlier videos you'll know that all I've been crowing about is going to the new map in my Jeep Renegade sorry not my Jeep Renegade in my Jeep uh, Rubicon and carrying on with unlocking and exploring the new map watchtowers upgrades so on and so forth oh right I'm at the A&K already so uh, right, let's turn off the engine on the winch truck. Let's turn the engine off on that for a second. So I, I should return my, to my discussion on future gameplay very, very shortly. Right, first of all, let's change truck to that. Let's go to refuel fuel tank let's do the Zix first alright so that's not um, that's not registering that I'm close enough to the uh, to the dairy to refuel it so I'll just back up a little bit right let's try that refuel yeah that's better very special right excellent just pull this forward. Right, that will do you. Yeah. Switch that off and change truck back. Right, attach winch. Attach winch. Turn the engine on. A toot to say thank you. And away we go again. But yeah, but um, you see, I've, I was just having a quick look at the map before I, um, I started recording this episode. And there's a lot of this map that I'm, I've not really... I've, if I've been there, I've only been once passing through in my Jeep when I was unlocking it and there were obviously a lot of tasks to do on this map let alone contracts so I'm sort of in a bit of a dilemma I really 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 want to get in my Rubicon and go and explore the second map and as I say I may well still do that but I also do want to get a few contracts done on this map as well there's obviously there's stuff to be where I've got to deliver materials I've got I spotted another vehicle that needs collection a Scout 800 so I wouldn't mind using my uh, automated platform again for that now that I'm such an expert right. I'm still going the right way yes um yeah, there is, 
I believe there's crafting involved on this map as well. I've, I've not been close enough or spent long enough at any of the warehouses to see whether or not there was an area where you have to put the uh, the generator to um, to craft materials. So that's another thing that I'll have to uh, I'll have to pop pop to a warehouse nearby and uh, investigate that. May do that off camera just to see. But, um, but yeah, as I say, I do really, really want to uh, get to that second map. Oh dear. There we are. It's a heavy old truck there, Derry. I suppose it would be, wouldn't it? Swing down through here. Surprised that it's actually required me to change down out of high gear so often. But uh, see, it's, it's just me being influenced by how well it travelled singularly on its way to the dairy. So uh, you live and learn. You live and learn. So, uh, so yeah, folks. So I'll um, I'm going to have to make that decision about what to do next very soon. I just don't know. I just don't know. I probably won't... Um, let's make sure I'm still going the right way. Yes, I am. I probably won't uh, do that vehicle recovery mission just yet having that being part of only the second episode so uh, we've already seen a little bit of that I'll go back and do that I'll do that at some point but probably not yet there's stuff that needs to be picked up with the crane there's burnt logs that need to be delivered is it over there yes it is so that there, then to there, and then I need to go to there. Let's make it easy on myself. Right. That's the first bit of river crossed, up over the top, bouncing over the rocks. I'm very, very glad that I've uh, discovered this truck. As I say, I, I can't even remember which, um, with which season this truck was released, but uh, it's very, very, very useful. certainly seems to be very very capable I will uh, once I've once I've done with this I'll put it away for a little bit I don't want to use it too much there are plenty of other trucks that I need to use obviously I've still got the uh, the Western stars that I've not uh, I've not used yet I think I've yeah I bought all of those trucks but I don't think I've modified them yet but uh, they're trucks that I definitely want to use Lots to think about, ladies and gentlemen. Lots to think about. Oh, I'm nearly there. That's just... There we It's not even that dirty. I'm assuming it will have a a fire department paint job as this is specific to this map and this season the uh, that dairy special I'm thinking I should probably use it as a fire truck really principally 
it would just seem right somehow but uh, I will have a look and see what else you can uh, you can add to it it's got quite a big uh, big expanse on the back there maybe a three slot cargo bed we shall see right here's the garage swing in here Oh, I said I was going to go round the back. So round the back I shall go. Not the fastest, this, even in fully automatic mode. But speed is your enemy in this game. Here we go. Oh, there's an entrance there. I didn't even see that. Right. There she is, our beauty. With a thing like that, any fire will be an easy mission. Let's hope so. We shall find out. Right. So let's just turn the engine off on that. Let's release the winch and put this back in the garage. Not far to go. Oh look, I didn't even see that fire station. Put that in the garage and let's retain that. Go back to the map. And here she is. Oh, I like that. Handbrake. Handbrake off. So it's got permanent all-wheel drive, but the diff lock is switchable. It's certainly a bit of a beast. Let's get her in the garage. Truck is fully repaired, fuel restored. So it's got the same size fuel tank as the Zix. Let's see what we can do with it. Engines. Oh, so that takes it up to an S power to weight ratio. Fuel consumption, not great, but uh, I, I intend wherever I go to be very very careful with where I place fuel uh, vehicles that have fuel just to um, just to make sure I never uh, I'm never stranded the fuel station on this map is basically on one on the very eastern side so uh, a less special sorry let's have a so normally I would just put the advanced special on a less specialised gearbox built for increased top speed and high gear counts, as well as a minor increase in fuel efficiency. I only need a regular low gear option. No, no, I prefer to have the three, the three gears. So let's stick with that. Suspension. Oh, let's have a bit of active suspension. Tires. So it's got. Oh, there it's stock tyres. Right, OK. Alright, now I'm going to stick... Let's stick those on it. And let's just, sorry, just go back into that and sell those. Um, advanced heavy winch, gaugeable diff lock. Oh yeah, that's already fitted that spare wheel. Nice, nice little compartment for it there. Snorkel. Might as well put that on it there. Right. So heavy crane. Oh, that's the new heavy crane for this region, or for this season. Bob carrier front fire tank. Ooh, yes. Special tank for water transportation adapted installation adapted for installation on Derry Special. So you got two hundred repair parts and twenty two hundred water. Hmm, that's interesting. Alright, so you get a flatbed, that looks like a two slot. 
short login frame, maintenance frame add on, seismic vibrator, two slot cargo bed. Oh, the, these are the GGMS from one of the mod packs I've got for the trailers. Very useful. Alright, so you can carry medium logs on that. Don't use the one with the crane. Oh, right. Yeah, I've got the GGMS, or the Gaskell Games, fire and rescue pack as well. So that's got 2,000 litres in it. But that fire tank had 2,200 in it, didn't it? Yeah, so... I will save that for another truck, I think. Saddle high. Well... It's got to be the fire tank, hasn't it, really? Okay, rooftop. Saviour. Oh, right, so you can get a roof wreck. Definitely going to have that. Roof fog lights. I'll stick them on it just in case. Gets a bit gloomy again when I'm out and about. We'll have a lattice front bumper. Factory beans, external horns, twin horns. Let's just sell those. I tend to go for these MHS rims too. Oh, and you can put the bubble dial on it as well, so I shall do that. Oh yes, it's got to be that, hasn't it, really? Not even going to question that. Let's just leave the garage, just so we can see it. Look at that beauty. What a machine. Can it attach trailers? Yes, it can. Oh, yes, I should say that I've got the um, off-road trailer pack installed. Please forgive me, I can't remember who it was who did that mod. But um, I, will, uh, I will look into that and I shall mention that in the next episode. That is going to be fun to use. My dairy special. Excellent. So, this is it, folks. I've got to make a decision now, haven't I? Oh, yes, that's my Hummer. It's my International. Right, where is my Jeep Renegade? There we go. Oh, no, not most. I keep saying that. Jeep, Ra Jeep Wrangler. There we go. So let's just deploy that. While I'm thinking about one of the, what I'm going to be doing, I'm just going to customise this while I think of it. Six point two T. That's a big old engine. That's got a great power to weight ratio. And it's got S fuel consumption as well. That's perfect. Right, snow runner gearbox. Um, hmm, that looks a little too high. I'm tempted to. Oh yes, I'm just going to go for raised. Raised is usually fine. Let's put some mud tyres on it. Some big 36 inch mud tyres. Very nice. Um, autonomous Scouts. Thank you very much. Engageable diff lock. Oh, right, so yeah, all wheel drive and diff lock are switchable. Right, okay. It's got a spare wheel, but it also has a tow bar on it. That's the first thing I'm going to be testing. Sizable snorkel. Small roof rack. 150 repair points. 
40 fuel. Four spare wheels. Definitely. Okay, rear bumper. Toe loops, double pipe. Or stock. Ooh, I, don't, I quite like that toe loops one. Let's put this toe. Oops, sorry. Let's put the toe loops on that. Sell that. Flash of bar, small parking lights, round parking lights. We'll stick those fog lights as you can have them, as well as the uh, roof rack. Right, winch pipe, crossbar fog lights. Mm, I'm thinking winch pipe. And a number plate on the front as well. Roof holes, external composites, fresh hops. Lightweight thresholds. Let's put some composite thresholds on it. Who doesn't want a composite threshold in their life? I know I do. Right. Blue is the colour. And you can put the bobble dial on it as well magic so there we go so that's the wrangler that i will be using my rubicon should that be what i decide to do what do i do ladies and gentlemen have a quick vape to think about it if i should say if you do hear a, that a strange noise on occasion it is me vaping um, i've been sensible enough to give up smoking but uh Stage one of giving up completely is leaving cigarettes and going to vapes. But do not do it if you're underage. It's not big, it's not clever, and it's against the law. Right, just step down off my soapbox and back into my uh, into my driving seat. So let's look at the map a second. Let's have a quick. Let's have another little look at the map. There's plenty. I mean, obviously, the four water water boom mission. I don't know what's going on with me today, speech wise. Right, the four water boom missions. Right, there we go. Said it properly. They're all going to be surely. Yeah, they're just. Yeah, they're all more or less. Oh, fairly similar. From a type of delivery's point of view. Deliver to the port. Cabin times one. How many slots is a cabin? I have no idea. Deliver to the port. So I've only got to deliver them there. Let's just have a look in that warehouse and see... Alright, so that's got a cabin in it. And the other thing it was uh, it was asking for was concrete blocks times two, sorry about that. Um, yeah, so it's got a cabin and it's got two concrete blocks. How big is a cabin? I have no idea how big a cabin is. That's terrible, isn't it? I don't recall ever having to deliver one before. I don't even know if I've ever seen one or know what one looks like. Intriguing. So I probably won't delve into that just yet. Help the evacuees deliver cargo containers. Oh, there's two cargo containers. A truck with crane is recommended. Okay. They're two slots each, aren't they, cargo containers? They're quite large. 
so if I was going to do that, that's, but that involves basically the same journeys that I've been doing so far. So I probably won't do that yet. Swimming the wrong way. Chemical barrels. Right, okay. I've got to deliver them there. Again, similar sort of area. Yeah, this is the one. Deliver to the workers' house, which is just there. A Scout 800. Which basically just involves driving all the way down that road. I could use the radar and just clear that little bit of... Uh, unspotted territory I could use it a couple of times there so that is one thing I would do but as I say I've used that piece of mat of machinery already in these uh, in these episodes so we've got caring for tourists oh that's just so I've got to use a scout for that So I could head down that road there. I could actually do some, take a fuel carrier with trader with me. From where are we? From the garage. Just head out down this road. Looks like a bit of a trek. Visit the West Camp. There's a fuel carrier trader there. So I may take a fuel carrier trader with me. Where's it say visit the north camp? So it's locked. All right, so that's up there, but that's very close to the gateway to Burn Forest. So what I might do then... Can I cross the river here? Yes, I can. Right, I think in that case I will kill two birds with one stone. <coughs> Excuse me. And I'll get in my Rubicon. I think I'll do that and then I'll, I will complete that task on my way it'd be a long long route to the gate to the gateway in the north but I will do that and then go to the gateway and then I'll do some exploring I can't resist not going to sort out the second map because a lot of, uh, some of the uh, contracts are cross map as well so that it opens up even more opportunities. So, uh, so yes, I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to start tracking that. I think there was an East Camp, but I visited that while I was out doing my exploring. So what I can do is, right, let's just... Uh, just a welcome to... Oops, pressed it again by mistake. Right, let's see. Let's just switch off a sec. Try this way. Yes, you can. So, off road scout fuel trailer, there's 1250 litres. Oops. Off road, that's going to go to. I think I'm going to take one of these with me. Right. So, I think it's simply a case of turning, taking the first left, and then just keep on going. Yeah, I think that's what we'll do. Right, so it's this left here. See how this little chestnut handles out here in the wilds. Does look like quite a hefty trader it's pulling. But uh, now I I ended up really really liking that um, the Renegade. But this should be even more capable. I'm 
not sure if I've ever driven down this road before, so this is uncharted territory for me. Slightly soft. I've got plenty of fuel with me. Got 40 litres on the roof, 200 litres in the bubble dar, 1250 litres on the back. Shouldn't shouldn't be a problem. There is another truck, is there not? That came with season nine. Like an old school looking um 4x4 four four truck also with a I think I'm, I saw that with a with a fire uh, livery Bit of tarmac. This could be quite a long journey. But, uh, give us a chance before the end of this episode. About another 10 minutes or so until I'm going to be thinking about uh, end ending this episode. The time flies when you're having fun. But, um, just to just as get this Jeep on the way, on the way. Just to see how it feels initially. Soft boggy ground here. This might be a bit much this trailer that I'm pulling. It's quite a big trailer. Not really a tree trunk. Really? Oops, put it in neutral by mistake. Right, let me just stop there. Oh wow, I didn't even know this was here. Let's use the radar. See what um see what this reveals. Uncover map. The area has been scanned, but it didn't come up with anything, any other missions or anything. What we got there? Oh, it's a caterpillar. It's one of the um, the sp uh, oh, come on, Dave from Farming Simulator. It will come to me in a second. Telehandler. Telehandler? That's what I'm trying to think of. So, if that's just there, is that not just mine? I've got to be honest, I didn't really play the uh, the season where that was um, that was a, that was introduced. I did try using it, doing a mission with it, but uh, it didn't go well and uh, I found it very 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 difficult to even use so new truck discovered can I get into it 
No, not start engine. I can. Yep. Alright, so... I'm going to... I'm going to leave that there for the time being. At least I've unlocked it. Maybe I'll need to use it here for a specific mission. We shall see. Got a nice throaty exhaust note, this Wrangler. Whee! What's that little crazy place? That's one of the water towers, is it, that I have to repair? Well, I'm afraid to say it happened again, folks. My game decided to crash. And, uh... Yes. So that's twice now that that's happened. Take the rough with the smooth, I suppose. Uh, but there we go. So I'm back in. I'm back in my jeep again. Just gone past that uh, that water tower, which I think is one of the ones that need to be repaired. Let me just check the map again. Yeah, I'll just get a little bit further on. I'll activate the radar again. Looks like a soft, naughty little bit of mud. Come on, Mr. Rubicon, you can do it. There we go. keep plugging away as I say I think it does seem a little restricted by the weight of this trailer that I've decided to tow behind it but uh, it's certainly certainly capable that's for certain right let's just use the radar again activate radar I'll cover my area's been scanned right Okay, so now I can see that bit. I'll use it again. When I get up to next to water boom one, I'll use it again and that'll clear that part. So, I think what I'll do is try and get to the west camp and we'll end this episode at west camp. And then I will probably off camera drive across to the north camp just before the entrance so that when we start the next episode we'll be heading through the gateway. The, yeah, that's what I'll do. So, there, yeah, oh look, it's saving. Excellent. Yeah, so that at the start of the next episode you'll see me completing the mission caring for tourists and uh, just pop up to the gateway from there and then it's time to do some exploring very exciting very exciting bump over the rocks whoa that's Big old rock there. Right, I've got to keep my eye out for that water boom and then I've got to activate the radar again. It's been very efficient on fuel. That's good news. Oh, just 
crushed that log that was in the road there. Well, I've said road again, haven't I? You know what I mean. Dirt track. Right, okay, another soft, muddy bit. How far can we get in high gear? Not very far. These are the trickiest bits where there are where there are rocks in the soft ground as well. They can really halt your progress in no time at all. Let's just manoeuvre around that one. Go left past that one. Try and avoid that tree trunk if we can. Little Jeep. Cool, there's tree roots and branches and rocks and soft mud. There's a little bit of everything here. Let's put it up a little bit gear wise. really very stuck isn't it is it the trailer stuck on a rock yes looks like it there we go and we're through right, am I getting close to that water boom Sorry about flicking the camera around. Again. Sip a drink. The thirstier and thirstier the further away from home you get. Aha, there's the wall to boom. Beautiful this map. I do like these little lagoons and rocky outcrops and it's lovely. A lovely, lovely map. Beautifully designed. Let's stick with the camera on this side. Right, I said I was gonna activate the rad radar when I got to here, so area's been scanned. Yep, so that's that cleared, so I've just got to keep on going. Down this road. Road! I've said it again! And this track, Dave. This is not like the M25. If it was, people would complain quite a lot. Still not used half a tank of petrol. That I am impressed with. that tree branch going to be a problem no oh dear it's very soft Where does the road go? Oh, it's just straight over there. Come on, Jeep. 
You can do it. They're really annoying, those tree trunks, the way that they just they slow you down and then stop you and then they just disappear so you just keep going again it can be enough to bog you down yeah there you go you see just disappears Oh, this is a soft, deep bit of mud. Come on, Jeep, just get out the other side of this. There we go. It's got quite a substantial uh, jockey wheel on that trailer. It's dragging on the ground a little bit with the angle where it is, where the tow bar is, on the back of the, uh, on the back of the little jeep. Still, I do feel a lot more comfortable taking 1,250 litres of fuel with me behind me. Aha! We have an icon appearing. We also have another piece of water to ford. Still, this is rocky this time, so. I'm just gonna smash my way across. Good suspension travel. Raised suspension's fine. I was I was a little bit tempted to put the, uh, the really high suspension on it, but uh, uh, as I say, this this has been this has been fine, and I think we'll be fine from now on. So, come on, Jeep. Up you go. I'm liking it already, to be fair. I, it says it's more capable than the... Uh, than the Renegade. And it, uh, it certainly has been. It's got through everything, pulling this hefty trader behind it as well. Another big rock. Can't be too far from the camp now, surely. Someone crooning in the background there. Right, actually, let's stop here a second. I'm still a fair way away, so I've got to go along there. What's going to be the best way up? Is it going to be... Um, in that direction? Is that a track there? But there's just water the other side of that. Hmm. I think what I'll do is I'll take the trailer to th about there and I'll refuel from the trailer. And I've still got enough on board to cover me while I'm out doing this little bit. So let's take the trailer to say there. Let's go down this road and then turn left. 
I said it again. I think if I saw an actual road, I'd faint. around here drop down to the lowest gear are there rocks here? I think yeah there's rocks on the side there so Let's do a little cheeky cut across. There's trees I can winch to if it proved no, it'd be fine. Right, there we go. Smash the tree out of the way. Just try and go up this bit. But first things first. Right, let's just put a little marker on there. I've got a, I've got a sneaking feeling that's not going to be the right way to go. But first and foremost, let's just refuel from that. Detach the trailer. See how she goes solo. Go around these trees. Yeah, let's go this way. Oh, thought I was going to get stuck there. Right, let's take that out of high gear and just put it into that. You can make it. Yes. Oh dear. Some rough old terrain, but she's coping really well. Wow, wait, what a view. I think I was. I know where I'm going to end this episode. Perched on the edge of that cliff. Stage complete. Let's just head to the edge of the cliff. Oh look, there's a little bench with a barbecue. about that for a view ladies and gentlemen boys and girls let's just switch off it's very peaceful very peaceful up in Ontario so yes I think I will be calling it a day oh look there's my fuel trailer down there yeah this, this is the end of this episode I think um, off camera I will drive from here let's get the map up I'll go back down that road get my fuel carrier trailer and I shall drive out to just before the north camp and 
that is where I will uh, I will be starting the next episode and then we'll go from there probably down that little route that's the same sort of route that I took the Hummer in episode 2 to the gateway to Burn Forest and uh, yes we'll head off and do some exploring so uh, yes yeah, so I hope you enjoyed that um, I certainly did it's great to be in yet another new vehicle that I've never used before and as I say even with the uh, even with that large fuel carrier or larger fuel carrier trailer towing behind it it's certainly very capable and it just almost shrugged off that little bit of terrain without even noticing it so I'm impressed already with this and it's a great looking vehicle as well isn't it let's be honest but uh, yeah so uh, so I shall say goodbye for now um, please if you wouldn't mind hitting that like button and subscribing to my channel that would be a massive help to me as I'm trying to build up my uh, my viewer base and uh, yeah so, and I will be back very very soon with episode 5 we will be heading out to uncharted territory it's a burned forest map all very exciting so uh, yeah so I'll say again thank you very much indeed for watching and uh, I will see you all on the next one cheerio